Blan in Southeast Queens would put elementary school students in the same building as high school students. A charter school chain is looking to fill what they say is empty space in public school buildings. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram reports many students, teachers, and parents are against it, saying this is inappropriate and will take away programs. Should elementary school students be taught in the same building as middle and high schoolers? I have a granddaughter. She's in uh, second grade. I wouldn't want her coming here with kids that are 12, 13 years old. It's something charter school chain Success Academies claims to have done before and wants to do it again in August at two New York City public school buildings in Southeast Queens. One on Guy Brewer Boulevard that has three middle schools, including a special needs school. The other at the Springfield Gardens campus, which has four existing schools. One is about 50% vacant, the other one's about 63% vacant. And I'm sure you know that in Southeast Queens, there is tremendous demand for excellent schools. Parents and faculty disagree. Now I'm a little concerned about the social and emotional well being of our children. MS72's grant is at jeopardy because new neighbors would stop its expansion and growth. <laughs> Students at the Springfield Gardens campus organized a walkout last month. Even community members got involved. Programs like Honor Society, Gateway, they would have to be cut out. And these programs are like are the ones that are preparing us for college. That would take away from the extracurriculars that we do on our field, such as tennis. CBS 2 News was granted access inside of the campus Thursday. How many kids are in this bus? Uh, 30. We're busting at the seams. It gets to the point where... A lot of our classes, they, they serve multiple purposes, so any co-location would dis disrupt that. The principal here at Excelsior High School says this school is so overcrowded that students right now are taking citywide exams in this science laboratory. We will have to lose rooms in order for co-location to happen. Success Academy's founder says the students wouldn't see each other often. The high school students get that they're around a five-year-old, so their language changes. There's a potential for inappropriate interaction. A vote is expected later this month, and if approved, the charter schools could move in in August. In Southeast Queens, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. A city public schools person telling us tonight both buildings have sufficient space to adhere to class size maximums and to ensure student safety, adding that the panel for education policy is considering several charter school proposals here.